Hello guys, I'm Andre1058 and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create arena groups. Arena groups are like arena types like this, this one when you have... Uh, I'm lagging. Yes, I'm lagging. Sorry about that. Uh, it's like 4v4v4, v4, like that's the arena group. Or when you have solo or doubles, that's the arena group for Bedwars1058. So we're going to create an arena group, for example, because we want to have uh, teams uh, of uh, 6 versus 6 players or 10 versus 10 players, only 2 teams, for example. So we're going to use our wiki. Uh, so when you want to configure the Bedwars plugin, the first thing to do is to read the, is to read the, the wiki you have information about everything here so according to our wiki we have to use bw arena group create where name is the arena group name so we're going to do bw for using those commands you have to give the right permission to the player or to be op so bw arena group it will display the arena groups but i'm lagging a bit because I'm uploading uh, another video on YouTube and I have a really slow connection. So BW Arena group create and we'll do B, uh, 10 versus 10. That's our group. Okay, now if we do BW GUI 10 versus 10. Oh my gosh, it's really slow. Okay. We will not have uh, arenas in here because there isn't any arena um, added to that group. So the command for adding uh, arenas to that group is BW arena group set. Arena name, in my case, is Borletum. And then we write the uh, group name. And this arena was added. And now if we do BW GUI and the arena group name, uh, will have the maps in here. But the thing is that arenas uh, have uh, um, individual uh, configuration about the uh, team size. So your arena group uh, will not change the uh, team size. So we have to go in uh, the arenas folders in uh, Bedwars 1058 folder. We'll open Boletum. This is the arena file. And we'll check this max in team. We'll set that to 10 because we want to have 10 players in uh, our team. And this option is um, the minimum requirement uh, for the arena to start. We'll set this to 10 as well. So when our 10 players on the server, it will, will start the countdown. Okay, so now we want to refresh that um, option, uh, that change, and we have to disable the arena, boletum, boletum, and we have to enable it again, boletum, okay. Now, if we open the GUI, we have a 40, um, there's uh, actually because I have uh, four teams. And I'm going to delete to delete uh, two teams to have only 20 players on that. So I'll delete the red team and the yellow team, okay, to make it more realistic for our example. Okay, so I'll disable and enable it again. Sorry about that. Okay, uh, and now we have 20 players with two teams. If we join it. We for start before start the arena. We start again. I have a slow connection. Um, look at my ping. Okay, so it's. Um, yes, the problem is that this scoreboard is used by 
all the arena groups. So we want to have a custom scoreboard because we don't have the red team and the yellow team. And for that, we are going to edit the messages file uh, in languages. Okay, uh, we are using the English um, translation. Files are loading. And it's taking so much. Okay, now we scroll down for the scoreboard uh, configuration section. Okay, it's online and it's on this line. And now we have to copy the default uh, configuration um, uh, section with that space. We copy all it down. Okay, and now we go here and paste it, but we have to rename default to um, to our uh, arena group name. In this case, it's 10 versus 10. Okay, but we want to edit only the playing. Uh, um, then scoreboard so the the starting and the waiting scoreboard can be the same as the default so if we don't have the playing and the uh, waiting uh, configuration here under uh, 10 versus 10 it will automatically take it from from default it will take it from here so we want to customize the playing scoreboard and now we're going to remove the teams which are not used so is team red this one and the yellow team so we remove them and now we save and we have a custom uh, custom um, uh, scoreboard for for us but the thing is that uh, we have uh, other translations and we have to update the, those two so if people use uh, english translation for example, uh, 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 Spanish Spanish translation. For example, they will not have the uh, updated uh, scoreboard because we updated it only for English. So we have to paste here, uh, or or if uh, we want to have it more accurate, we are going to copy this one in Spanish and then paste it down. Remove this waiting and starting because we don't need them and we have to remove the spaces 10 versus 10 and that's it we remove yellow and red and that thing should uh, be done with the others okay but we are not going to that we leave the arena so if you want to refresh the uh, translations, there, there, there is a command, pw, and it's uh, reload. But it's not recommended, so, yes, okay. Those languages were updated. So now if we go on our arena, it should be updated as well. pw, start debug. And when the arena starts, we're going to have only two uh, teams on the scoreboard. The other thing is, uh, if you have um, other teams with uh, nothing, no, with non-English uh, names like Team, um, I don't know, Team Dog, for example, it's a name of team. You have to edit the uh, scoreboards here at the, where is it, uh, it's not here, okay, so where is my 10 versus 10, okay, for example, if you have a team called dog, okay, dog, it caps, for example, you have to edit this team blue with team dog. It's case sensitive, so if your team is called dog this way, 
the placeholder name will be dog this way as well because it's case sensitive so yes that's how we do if you have a, another name of your team you have to um, to edit the placeholder as well if you want them to work that's not a bug that's a feature because you you can have as many teams as you want with custom names custom colors etc and then you save on your start server that's it